I really read a 600 page book about a very hormonal teenage vampire. Yeah, yeah, I did. everyone, it's me Carol. Welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you're new here. For today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the brand new book that just came out and it's the fifth book in the Twilight series by Stephanie Mayer called Midnight Sun. This book launched on August 4th and as soon as it did, I ran to my Kindle and tried to read it as fast as I could to upload this video and here we are. I also went one step further. Can you tell I'm dressed as Bella Swan? Come on, we look identical. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate that. I just wanted to feel like Bella. <laughs> you might be thinking, huh, I thought the series was over. It is. She just basically rewrote the first books, but in Edward's perspective, but she did give us some very cringy and borderline psychotic quotes from our buddy Edward. So that was pretty fun. <laughs> So if you don't know what the story is about, it's all about this girl named Bella Swan who moved into this very small town called Forks and obviously everyone falls in love with this very plain character including a very hot and mysterious guy called Edward Cullen and surprise, he's a vampire. For today's video, I decided to focus my review on three main points, so plot, character, and is this book actually worth it? So let's do this. To be honest with you, this book doesn't give us a lot more than the first books in the series. The only main difference is that it's told through Edward's viewpoint other than Bella's. So the characters didn't change throughout the book, but I personally thought it was super interesting the fact that we were able to see a little bit more of the Cullen family. I personally think Jasper and Emmett are super underrated. I'd love to see them appear more in the book. Another thing that I thought was really interesting is that we could read people's minds because that's one of Edward's superpowers and we found out a lot of juicy stuff about Bella's so-called new friends. They don't have Bella's best interest in mind, which I thought was really surprising and didn't expect, so that was fun. We also got the whole romance between Edward and Bella, but to be honest with you, I don't think having Edward's viewpoint changed the story that much. Some scenes were literally copy and paste from the first book, so the romance kind of stood like meh for me in this book. I don't have a lot to say other than I did get some very interesting quotes and I'm gonna read them to you all. This is Edward speaking and I quote, Like a stalker, an upset stalker, an obsessed vampire stalker. Beautiful words, Edward. We also have, Could a dead frozen heart break? I felt as though mine would. Deep. And we also have the one that, well, turning her skin the most delicious color I'd ever seen. Romantic, isn't it? These quotes are really bad, but I did read a 600 page book in, two, in less than two days. And for me, that's not common at all. So I have to give her that. It did keep me hooked maybe because I really wanted to do this video, but it did get me hooked and I really liked the pace and the writing style of the book. Nothing stood out to me in a negative way. Plot also didn't change much from the first books to this one. We do get some additional Edward scenes, which are most of the time useless. So for example, if in the first books, because it's Bella talking the first books, if she's talking to one of her friends, we don't know what Edward's doing. In this book, it kind of fills that out and makes us know what he was doing back then which is kind of useless and sometimes not interesting at all, but it's something to consider. So overall, is this book worth it? I think if you're a diehard Twilight fan, this book is gonna make you super happy. You're going to be able to go back to Forks and talk to your favorite characters one last time. So if you're a diehard fan, I do recommend, but if you're not, I think this book is fun for some laughs and just a very interesting time. If you wanna read about a stalker and some very, very creepy scenes, I did get some Joe from you vibes, if you know what I mean. The fact that he's always justifying his actions and always trying to find reasons as to why he's so obsessed or why he's going to her room at night to watch her sleep. If you like thriller, this book might be fun for you. <laughs> I'm kidding, but yeah, I'm a big thriller fan and sometimes I get I did get that vibe. So <laughs> I don't think 
reading has to only be about knowledge. Sometimes it can be about entertainment or just forgetting the world. So if you go and read this book with this mindset, I think you might have some fun and enjoy this book a little. That was my review for Midnight Sun by Stephanie Mayer. I hope you enjoyed. If yes, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below to be part of this wonderful family. Please do. I even dressed up, you guys. Come on, come on. You feel me? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!